just answer my name. So uh, you can ask me everything. You can ask me anything about our country, about our school, about our student here, and about our activity here. Uh, and you are more than welcome. I can. I will try to answer your question the best I can. I think that's all. Okay. Thank you. Is if anybody has any questions directly related to who she is or her practice or anything, feel free because uh, Bu Ayu has been in several different classes, senior classes. She's been answering questions. She's been talking about her experience. Um, she is a teacher of um, what we call as vocational competency. In year 11 and 12, you can do a vocational course at TAFE and you can study the same thing in our school. And she, her methods are electrical. She's teacher of electrical vocational competency. So she's a senior teacher. Um, she's quite experienced. So you, you can ask her questions regarding, um, you know, what is, uh, you know, how's your school, you know, how many students, you know, what's your religion practice. You can ask her anything and she will answer the questions, including anything personal. She's happy to answer the questions. So if you have anything in curiosity and you're curious to know, feel, feel free to ask. Yeah. Kona? Okay, can you tell what school, do you know where it was from? Okay, uh, this, she said his primary school here in Melbourne um, has a sister school in Indonesia, but he's, he can't remember exactly where it was here. Um, question? And the question is? Oh, so he can't remember because they had a sister school relationship with Indonesia, but he can't remember the name of the school. Yeah. So question? Question? So it's industry, electrical industry installations and electrical wiring and stuff. So she's a teacher of electronics and electrical. Yeah. Any other question you would want to ask? Please feel free to ask. If you if you're curious about something, feel free to ask because some of you might be thinking, you know, obviously she, you know, you can get the hint of where she is from. Yeah. There you go. Question. Um, how do you find the schooling there from now? Well, like. How do you say like that's different? Like, the difference from your school and your yeah. school? Okay. The first, uh, the first, so the first is the area. We have a big area. Uh, and our school is not that big. So, and also the, the, the classroom and then the park and then everything. We learn so much here that if you want to make a good school, you must make a perfect uh, planning about the building, the area for the students, the garden, and etc. So, yeah, it's a big thing in our school. Also, in one class in Indonesia, it is a common that in one class we have maybe 30 to 36 students for senior high school. And for the junior school, it might be around 30 or 32. It's a big, it's a big class. And, and then for the, the other day, it's the first time I saw the, like this, in the classroom. And uh, to be honest, it's the first time I saw this. So uh, I think maybe I can, I can try this in, in our school, in my class, maybe. So, if it's okay for Mr. Chief. Yeah. Because I think it's a good a good way to make you feel comfortable in the class, so you can you can learn 
warm weather, you can observe and you can feel relaxed in the past. So uh, you can, yeah, you can, uh, you can get a better value in the past. We have one yeah, more question. So many different, I can ask <laughs> oh, so many different. So we have one more question here. Okay, please. Do you have any traditional clothing that you wear? Traditional clothing? Uh, in the school or in the anywhere? Anywhere. Yes, I do. We do. Uh, in our school, we have a uniform, a uniform. uniform. Actually, we, uh, we wear it on the last Monday, but you can see because we are uh, in the same school. Uh, it's a yellow. It's a yellow. Uh, and uh, we call it baju kurung. So, uh, we have batik too, like this. This is called batik. It's a traditional fabric from Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia, are you in Indonesia? No? No? Okay. Uh, Indonesia, uh, we have many islands like Sumatra, Kalimantan, Java, Papua, and I came from Central Kalimantan. Uh, each area has their own pattern. Each area has their own batik. And from my area, from Central Kalimantan, we have Thank you. But you're cooking on Thursday, so. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, you have meditation, of course. Um, it's a different traditional for each, each, uh, each island. So the traditional food from Sumatra, different. The traditional food from Java, different with traditional food in Kalimantan. In our place, in our city, uh, our city is Nankalambun, and we have some traditional food. We call it Choco Mandala which is a uh, hot, hot soup uh, and uh, it fills with chicken, it fills with uh, economy, it fills with the uh, health and the... Uh, no. In Indonesia, our food basically is about rice. Wow, it's a big question because I have a lot of food I like. <laughs> I have to eat. Because it's a 
part of my belief that I honor the food, I honor the meal. So, uh, I have I have so many foods in my in some of the dish, you know, I like chili mandala, and then we used to make the chili. Uh, the chili is made from garlic. What's the teacher? Michael. Go. Go. Go up, you'll be good. Girls, what's happened to you guys? Any volunteers? Oh, you too? Hey, look at you. <laughs> so, let's pretend that this is, this is your father, okay? This is your father. Pretend he is your father, okay? He's your son, okay? Because you are family and you are young than your father. To show your friend, we, we, do, we do this every time. So we do this before we go to work, before we go to school. We do this when we got back in the home and we met with our parents too. Or you met with the grandfather and something like that. So, let's pretend that you are going to the school. You said to your father, I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to go to school. And then you give your hand to my This is a ordinary shake hands, okay? You and your friend, okay? But we do this with the with the other person. With your father, so you must. You must. You must put your hands, her his hands, in the kitchen. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> is that okay for you? You want to try? Okay, please try. He's your father. You must respect him. So when you do second hand like this, you must go a little. Go down? <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's good. That's how we show our respect to other other people. For especially for our parents. You go to school, you do that to your parents. You back to the